Hey Gemini, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is your April mid-month reading. However, before you watch this reading, I need to correct myself. I made a mistake. So in this reading, um, the second card out is the Lover's card, which is the card of Gemini, by the way. Um, the second card out is the Lover's card, and I keep referring to it throughout the entire reading as a love relationship. And I just want to let you know that it's it can be any kind of relationship in your life. Love, uh, children, work, career, money family, neighbors, it doesn't matter. It can be any important relationship in your life, okay? It doesn't have to be a love relationship. So anyway, I stand corrected, and as you hear me say that throughout the entire reading, just replace it with whatever relationship it is in your life, okay? All right, and also, this is a general reading. This is an absolute general reading. Don't ever plan your life on a general reading. If there's something that's important, some kind of important decision that you need to make, um, go to your favorite tarot card reader, and hopefully that would be me. But regardless, go to your favorite tarot card reader and pay for a reading. Do not plan your life off of a general tarot card reading because it can be very misleading. Um, your cards in a personal reading would be for you and only you and it wouldn't be the same. So anyway, love you guys and enjoy the reading. Hey, Gemini, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How y'all doing? It's been a minute, right? It's been a minute. I have a mid-month for you, mid-April-ish, right? From whenever to whenever, but that's when it's being recorded. So mid-April. And uh, this is a pretty good one. It's pretty straightforward. It really, really is. All right, so there is, and this is going to be pretty quick because it's straightforward. There, you have transitioned out of a love relationship. Somebody was left out in the cold. Now there's fear of the unknown because as the empress in its position on the flip side, you were dependent on this person. It's about dependence on others, right? Yeah, and the upside, she's about abundance and everything, but she's about dependence on others in this positioning, right? And temperance comes in and says, you now need some self-closure. So this big thing happened up here, right? Transitioned out of a love relationship. Somebody was left out in the cold. Now there's now you're planning for your future, but there is fear of unknown because you were dependent on this person. You guys were together, right? <coughs> excuse me so you were together temperance comes in in its positioning and says that you now you need self-closure in this situation so that's what happened down here we start out with judgment in relation to this situation up here you made a very very important decision a huge decision right uh, yeah a huge decision a life-changing decision with the star card the star card talking about yes hope faith purpose renewal spirituality but on the flip side this card is about disconnecting so you made a judgment to disconnect to stop working on things to put an end to the situation because there was a betrayal, a deception, and just general shady behavior anyway. And you want to break free from it. There you go. What's up next? Well, the Ace of Swords, Gemini. You have absolute mental clarity about your decision and what the hell is going on right here. Right? Gems like... All for one, one for all, yay, I'm for me. I have mental clarity about what I'm doing right here. Okay, so this mental clarity to the four of pentacles, which is white knuckle grip. This guy's insecure, right? He's got like self-protection. He doesn't, he's not letting go of those pentacles for nothing, right? And he only has four, right? He only has four. It's not even halfway to 10, right? He only has four, but four is the number of stability. And even though it's only four, this guy feels stable knowing that he has at least four coins to fall back on, right? So that is the energy of that card. So this tells me 
Gemini, that you have some kind of huge uh, insecurity going on, some kind of huge insecurity in regard to this situation. Well, this, this mental breakthrough that you have is that you are not going to have a lack mentality and you are going to manifest either a brand new opportunity in your life or a brand new financial opportunity in your life. Could go either way. But you're manifesting the Ace of Pentacles, right? This little beautiful seedling of something awesomeness that you can plant and grow, right? So that's your decision. So you make this decision right here to disconnect, stop working on this relationship or this situation. Put a end to the situation because there was betrayal, deception, and just general shadiness, right? Okay. Remember up here, transitioned out of, out, of, out of a love relationship. Someone was left out in the cold. Now you need to plan for your future, but you have fear of the unknown because you were dependent on this person and now you need to be your own abundance. Temperance temperance comes in and says, sorry guys, hold on. Ha, huh, that's my mom. So temperance comes in and says that you have to do some self-healing now, right? You have to do have some patience with yourself and have, and do some self-healing. Okay. Down here, we went all through this right here. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles, you are manifesting your own shit at this point, right? Queen of Swords comes in and says that you have made the absolute cutthroat black and white decision that you are going to manifest with the magician into your life, the Princess of Cups, a creative new beginning. Could be manifesting some feels into your life, but I don't know. I'm feeling a creative new beginning, right? And that could be feels too, because you have to create a relationship with somebody, right? But what else? So you've made an absolute decision that you're going to manifest a creative new beginning into your life. Six of Pentacles. Who it is that you gave and received with up here in this love relationship that you ended because of betrayal and deception? Whoever it was that you were giving and receiving with was giving and receiving with somebody else in a third party situation. And that's where the betrayal, the deceit, and the, the general shady behavior came from, right? So that's what that is right there. I thought that was just hilarious that they just said, like, boom, there you go. So because of the person that you were with was in a third-party situation and it betrayed you and you put an end to the relationship and left, justice comes in. Justice will be applied to the situation, Gemini. <laughs> Justice will be applied to the situation. And I'm cracking up because that is a twofold card right there, the Wheel of Fortune. What this is saying is that because the Wheel of Fortune is about karma, good luck, life cycles, and destiny, right? So what this is saying is that the justice will be that this person will get their karma. That's justice. And the justice is that you are going to have a brand new, passionate, inspired, beautiful beginning in your life. Followed by the Ace of Pentacles twice. Followed by the Ace of Pentacles manifesting a brand new opportunity in your life. Financially or otherwise. A brand new opportunity into your life. Now, this is a regretful but necessary transition. Regretful because obviously you were in love and somebody broke your heart by being a fuckhead, right? So now you go through all of this and all of this and now you're here and you're manifesting Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles again, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, and Death. I love the death card. The death card is one of my favorites. And the magician manifesting the hell out of this, right? Wow, you got some freaking determination, Gemini. I love it. So six of swords, regretful but necessary transition. A culmination to the situation. And there is you as an independent, self-sufficient individual. 
High Priestess comes in, followed by the Queen of Swords. This High Priestess to the Queen of Swords says the same thing as that, as that Nine of Pentacles, right? It says that you are in tune with your intuition and you are on point with how you feel about the situation. This High Priestess is confirmation of your own intuition, right? Confirmation that Queen of Swords, you made the right decision. Queen of Swords backing up the High Priestess. I mean, that's like, that's like, you don't want to run into those two on the street. That's for sure. Queen of Swords backing up the High Priestess in your reading right there, right? The Star card. Hope, faith purpose and renewal in your life. I can't make this up. The Empress. <laughs> the Empress, right? Abundance, the builder, totally and completely in control of everything, unlike this Empress was up here. This Empress down here, she's she's on, <laughs> on the upswing. <coughs> Sorry, Jess. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, she's on the upswing, right? And she's going to make it happen with the world card. Completion of a life cycle, integration of all the crap you learned during this relationship, and, and moving on, right? Traveling on down the road of life and accomplishment. You're going to get some personal closure, and it's all going to be freaking beautiful, Gemini. This is a beautiful reading, an absolutely beautiful reading. Cracks me up right here how they how they do that. Who you used to give and receive with was in a third party situation with deception. They just crack me up. Justice. They're going to get their justice. They're going to get their karma. And you're going to have a brand new, inspired, powerful, beautiful beginning in your life. Manifesting hard. You have the, the Ace of Pentacles twice and the Magician. I mean, this is like this is like going to happen kind of stuff, right? This isn't a maybe I wish it could happen. You are having an amazing freaking turnover of your whole life. Absolute men of clarity. Losing the lack mentality manifesting the ace of pentacles coming over here manifesting a brand new creative beginning in your life getting justice for this situation a brand new passionate beginning the ace of pentacles again beautiful turning point in your destiny kind of stuff here this is a beautiful reading gemini i hope that it inspired you i hope that it helped you to understand your own intuition and if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. And whether it's me or anybody else, don't trust your life to a general reading. Love you. Namaste.